I asked, dude. Like, it's not even giving me average ones. That's the thing I don't get. Why is it giving me the absolute worst? Like, literally the worst ones you can have. If it's below a certain line, that's what I'm looking for. For those of you that don't know how that works, um, there is a line on the right side of the wall that I'm looking at. And if I'm below it, that's bad. Like, that is literally the worst. And if I'm above it, then I'll keep going. I don't have to get teleported all the way to the top or anything. I don't need that best luck. I just want the average luck, but it's not giving me the average luck. And I'm getting body blocked by honkers. There we go! When Bell arrives, the good luck arrives with him. Fuck, I missed! <laughs> hey, hey, Bell, how you doing, man? How are you doing? How is the Hellforged um, footage gathering going? Immediately cursed, yeah. It is confirmed, by the way, Bell, that I will be playing Classic on NA, so if you, if you want to play with me, we should play. I'll be joining a box guild, most likely. You got a uh, uh, first level done. Hell yeah. Hold up, I'll read that in a second, Alberto. When I just gotta have to run a straight line. There we go. Okay. Ah, how cute. But it's also funny that it's a, that it's a trauma film, which means it's probably gonna have some weird shit in it. And it only took 10 minutes this time instead of 45. I'm glad to hear it. So what kind of content are you producing for your YouTube with that? Like, is it just a playthrough? Is it like a all secrets show? Uh, or I don't know, is it a speed run? What are you doing? Or is it like, this is good. <laughs> Civi11, that is a very, very interesting name. Has he covered, for example, uh, Rimworld? I think I've heard of that one before at least. I may even have watched a video of his. Old school FPS, okay. Maybe not then. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Level three. We meet again. And how fitting that we have 404 in health and ammo count. Not anymore. We have 3146. If I could meet Tarok in the in real life, I would ask him what his secret is behind his strafe running. That's the one thing I want to know the most, if I could ask a Tarok anything. This is cool, here's the secrets and how I feel about it. Good stuff, man. Ah! Don't blow me up. Thank you, sir. All right, I have very low hey, hey, <laughs> HP here. Oh, well, this is scary. Fuck! 
He dealt a lot of damage. All right, I want to play the game. So I'm doing that. Well, you just move your legs and you move them right and it works. It just works. I wonder how Talset would speak to someone like me, right? What is the kind of language he would use? Would it be formal? Would it be uh, using slang? <laughs> Joshua would probably be talking like a stoner or something. That's my that's just my impression of Joshua. But Talset, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. went insane over that all right let's go team we have a run listen to the music <laughs> dude's going ham on the drums yeah and I still lost time! I still lost time with that clip! <laughs> Come with me, sir. Sepultura? That, that's, a, that's an event I haven't explored at all, actually. Do you think that would be anything for me, Alberto? Hey, beef broth. Uh, I, I can't speak. Beef broth, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. All right, guys, we're on a run. They could go somewhere. I don't know. We could see where it leads. Let's have a look. I just feel like talking, man. I'm sorry for, like, blurting out all kinds of shit you, your guys' way, but I, I, I feel like talking. Right? I feel like talking today. That was weird. I wish we could water boost in this game. Oh shit, it's Mag! He is back! The legend! The RE2 legend. And partly RE3. So Mag, we, we missed world record in our run by two seconds because of some unfortunate events. And now we're back on a run that could potentially take it back. Potentially. <laughs> and I also have beer for this. That's how special this is. Mm. It's time for some beer. Okay, good. I did not think that jump would make it. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. We're saving more and more time. Holy shit. Let's fucking go, team. Let's go. I will indeed be playing WoW Classic Mag, but I'll be playing on the NA server, most likely. And join up with Bach and uh, other uh, speedrunners.
Wild Classic starts on the 27th of August. Tomorrow, if you have an active sub, you can go in and create your character and reserve your name. I do not have a VPN. Uh, you just change your Battle.net client to uh, American. And then you can just, you know, create an account and play there. I am a little bit unsure what the ping will be like, but I have played StarCraft on NA, and that has been completely fine. If I can play a game like StarCraft just fine <laughs> with that ping, I should be able to play WoW. That's my reasoning. It will be very time-consuming, but uh, you don't have to take it seriously, you know? There will be so many different kinds of players playing, like... It could be a very chill thing for you to just log in, quest a little, and then, you know, not play. I think a lot of people are gonna use it for that aspect alone. Since if you're a casual player, Leveling to 60 is going to take a very long time regardless. You might as well enjoy the time however you wish to do it, right? I don't think it's a bad thing to just have, have it as an option to play just for fun, you know? Oh, you've been playing private them private servers? Gotcha, gotcha. I was playing private servers too. I was playing on Kronos, actually, recently. Kronos 3. I got to level 58 as a uh, orc. Female orc, might I add. Female orc warlock. And then I stopped. <laughs> I don't remember why I stopped, but I stopped. All right, guys, you guys ready for the blind shot? It's the blind shot. Here he comes. Easy every time. Fuck, I clipped into the log. I need to take damage here. This is good. I can deal with this. <gasps> Six health. Okay, this is this is gonna be scary. See, endgame in, in classic, I think, is gonna be where I quit. Because endgame isn't as satisfying to me as retail endgame is. But the actual journey to level and stuff, that's what I really love about Classic. So I will definitely go all in on that. It is just raiding in PvP, right? But I mean, that's how you can summarize retail as well. But the problem I have with Classic Endgame is that bosses uh, are not really mechanically intensive. <laughs> it's more strategy based on managing a large group rather than dealing with mechanics individually. And that's just not my preferable way of playing. I enjoy Mythic raiding in retail because there's a lot of uh, emphasis on individuals doing well in the team. I like that kind of gameplay. Alright guys, it's time. Clench your butts for me. Because this is the scariest part of the run right here. Uh, 
It may not look like it's scary, but trust me, it is scary. And we got it. Good stuff. I think that's generally like the hardest part of the entire run. If we're gonna count a single segment as the hardest segment, that's definitely it. You don't have to kill that guy, but I kill him because it's fun. Ooh, nice, mortal wound. And now we have the little auto, I, I, it's not really an auto scrawler, but I call it that because it's basically it. Hmm. Where you can take a sip of your beer. That, no, it definitely looks scary. <laughs> I do want to clear Nax though. Like Nax is kind of my main destination with classic, I could you could say. So I will definitely be doing raiding. But my main goal is to clear Nax. Twin King in Classic is super fun. Like, being a rogue and literally... Or a warrior and literally one-shotting people is super fun. So that, that, that is definitely a way to go. I, I approve of this very much. Okay, good. No blocks. Very, very nice. I don't know how many... Nine, okay. Nine nades, we can work with that for sure. That is a good number. That's a time save right there. I did not get that very well done. MPB. I did I didn't raid at all in classic. Because I was too young. <laughs> I couldn't understand what to do. I, I also didn't get to level 60. Right? I got to level uh, 57. As an undead mage. And then in TVC, I did Kara. Kara or Karazan. Karazan. I don't know how you say it. Because, once again, I was still too young. Then Wrath came. Wrath is when I actually started playing, you could say. Actually learning what to do. Hey, Benity. How's it going, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Karazhan is a beautiful raid. Didn't like BC besides the new races. I can see that. Like BC's tone in general was very, very different. <laughs> Take that, mantis! You'll fuck. <laughs> oh boy, we're ahead. Welcome back, Ty. How are you doing, man? Did you get your Mountain Dew? And what kind, sir? Do they still sell Mountain Dew Voltage? Is that a thing? 
Because I think I like that one, but it doesn't sell here where I'm at, you know? In good old Swede land. You can go buy a two liter ball of voltage right now. I want it. You just got regular. Regular is really good. I really like regular. That's the one that you can buy here, pretty much. That one in Code Red is pretty common in our stores for some reason. I don't like Code Red, though. Bell, uh, you remember way back when they had the promotional thing with Mountain Dew, where they had the blue one be Alliance and the red one be Code Red? That's when I first got to try Voltage, I think. I believe that was Voltage, right? And my god, was it good. That was like way back though. Like way, way back. I don't even remember how far back. I just remember I had it and I loved it. I even saved the bottle for a long time because it had the the, the Alliance logo on it, right? It was, a, it was a bottle with my favorite game on it. <laughs> Voltage and Rock Band, hell yes. Rock Band is a good game, man. I really like rhythm games. As long as they're not super weird. I've never seen Whiteout, personally, so I don't know. Fanta or Fanta Exotic with liquor. I've never tried that. I want to try it now. I really like Exotic, like on its own. Exotic is super good, but I've never tried mixing it with something. That could be very, very interesting. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was expecting you to say, like, oh, you should, it's really good, but, uh... Alright, I guess I shouldn't! Dom, dom. Dom, dom. He dropped the mortal wound, I saw that shit! I wanted it! Orange juice and gin, though. That's the absolute best. That's the absolute best mix you can have, in my opinion. Orange juice and gin. Mm -mm -mm. That's my recipe for disaster. Oh, God. Don't do it. Okay, good. Thank you. Pulp? What is pulp? I don't think I know the meaning of the English word pulp. Is that like bits of orange? Okay, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. It does! It definitely does taste like that mag. I don't know why I like it, but I like it. Yeah, I don't like when it's pulp either in my in my juice. I absolutely absolutely don't. I think that's not very good at all. All right, you guys ready to see a fat fucking time save? Bam! There it is. I, I can try, Mag. I can try. I have never really made a drink for someone, but I can try. Nice. 
Nice, I got it. Fuck yes, dude. I was a little bit delayed. Oof. I do- I drink both bear, and, uh, if there's juice, I mix it with that. I think it's better to drink it with juice, personally. But I can drink it bare. That- that- I have no problem with that. Alright, I'm gonna play this a little bit safe, actually. And do that. And now we're gonna go for swag strats. There we go. Because normally I try to jump towards the tech armor directly, but I'm that, that's probably the one jump in the game I'm really, really bad at. Uh, ESA has shifted location to Malmö. So it's not going to be Vekka anymore, it's going to be Malmö. I need to save two seconds right now. Uh, an earlier PB. The, uh, today uh, was gonna be it, but I got body blocked in the final stage, and it wasn't it. So I need to save two seconds. We think it's Malmo at least. Um, they've kind of said that it's gonna be the, like their new official place. Keep missing him. Ah, oh, I'm I'm always shooting a little bit above his head. If I could just kill him immediately, that would save quite a bit of time. This is making you nervous. Yeah, Turok does that. Turok does that. Don't worry, friend. Don't worry. I'll make sure that we get this. All right. Just trust me. Put some faith in me, and we'll make this happen. We only have the final level remaining, which was really bad in PB. Like, it was actually god-fucking-awful. Yeah, Malmö is a lot better than Vekka, for sure, to host it. It sucks a little bit for, you know, me, because it's, it's farther away, so it'll be a little bit more costly, but at, I plan on having a job at that point, so we should be Gucci. <laughs> we should be Gucci. It's a long time until then. <laughs> Let's not get killed in Mal- <laughs> Ah, oh, no worries. No worries. I don't think we will be. I don't think we will be. That such a fat fucking time save right there. What? Yeah, Malma is notorious for that kind of stuff. Yes. Like, that, 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 there's no exaggeration there. Minimal blocks. Good. That, what the fuck? I shouldn't have spoken. Did you guys hear Tarok there? He was like, rrr, rrr. <laughs> He turned into a fucking Wookiee. I think in general, like in Malma, you are, uh, fuck, um, as long as you're just where everybody else is, you're, you're safe in general. Jesus, they're blowing me up. <laughs> Alright, so we have already had really nasty luck in here. Can we compensate by getting the clip here? 
Nope. <laughs> Light chip beta. <laughs> All right, gotta remember we don't use rocket launcher. I don't have to curl my jump here. I just I can just go. We only use rocket launcher in any percent. Do you guys like when it flashes yellow on me? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but because I have tech armor on, it flashes yellow. And when it happens on my little cam, because of my green screen, um, it chroma keys me out. <laughs> Who puts lava in their fortress? Evil bad guys do that. All right, so if we get no block down here, oh God, that's a time save. If we get no block. He is nice, he's so nice. Thank you, robot man. Thank you. Why do I waste time grabbing the flame or the tech armor? Uh, it's pretty much required. Otherwise, I risk dying to thunder. Actually, no, maybe not. It depends. Depends on your. Wow! He clipped! Did you see that? He fucking clipped! He too is a speedrunner. Right, so in this room right here, I got stuck on that checkpoint right there. He tried again! He tried again! Did you see that? He ran to it. He was like, oh, he's gonna go there. I'm gonna block ya. I'm gonna block ya. <laughs> They're learning, yeah. They really are. Yeah, that's a time save. Not as big of a time save as I would have wanted. All right, Thunder, behave. All right, behave. Get stunned. Get stunned. Get stunned. Thank you, sir. Get stunned, Thunder! Get stunned! Get stunned, Thunder! Thunder, stop! Good, Thunder! Get stunned! Perfect! Fucking perfect, Thunder! Holy shit! Mm. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, yeah? You guys ready to blast the nuts of this fucking boss? Are you guys ready? Can I get some hype in the chat, everybody? Can I get some fucking hype? Let's do this! Come on! No. Let's do this! Good. Good. Good! New world record! Yeah! Oof! Oof! Oh, I shit! Am Tora. Yeah!
Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Thank you so much for the GGs, everybody. Thank you so much for the thousand bits chaos. Thank you, thank you. Holy shit, what a run. What a run. What a run. Who is a good Dura? Who is it? <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. That feels so good.